hello guys welcome back to another video and now in today's video i'm going to be sharing a message that i believe has really inspired me from the book of ecclesiastes chapter 12 and sorry if i pronounce that ecclesiastes very funny i still don't know how to pronounce it but basically ecclesiastes chapter 12 from verse 1 to 7 and it says don't let the excitement of you cause you to forget your creator Honor him in your youth before you grow old and say life is not pleasant anymore. Remember him before the light of the sun, moon and stars is dim to your old eyes and rain clouds continually darken your sky. Remember him before your legs, the guards of your house start to tremble and before your shoulders, the strong men stoop. Remember him before your teeth, your few remaining servants stop grinding, and before your eyes, the woman looking through the window see dimly. Remember him before the door to life's opportunities is closed, and the sound of work fades. Now you rise at the first chirping of the birds, but then all their sounds will grow faint. Remember him before you become fearful of falling, and worry about danger in the streets. Before your hair turns white like an almond tree in bloom, and you drag along a bough without energy like a dying grasshopper, and the copper berry no longer inspires sexual desires. Remember him before you near the grave, your everlasting home, when the mourners will weep at your funeral. Yes, remember your creator now, while you are young, before the silver cord of life snaps and the golden bowl is broken. Don't wait until the water jar is smashed at the spring and the pulley is broken at the well, for then the dust will return to earth and the spirit will return to God who gave it. The Bible here is telling us that we should remember God in the time of our youth. I remember my mom used to always tell me this even while I was growing up in my teenage years. She would always say that when you are young, you have the opportunity to really, really build a solid relationship with God. Because the moment you grow older, you're married, you have kids, you don't have as much time as you have in your single season or in your youthful season to really, really spend time with God, build a relationship with God because there's one thing that then as a teenager that I will hear many of my friends say eh when I'm older I would now take my relationship with God seriously no it doesn't work that way because when you're now older you now have more responsibilities more distractions more worries more concerns more things that are slowly drifting you away from the presence of God or things that will slowly distract you from the presence of God so why not just start when you are young because it's the foundation that you have laid when you are young and when you are a youth that will now keep you at that moment when you are busy example a young lady or a young man who has been steadfast in the place of prayer or who spends time in god's presence and they start you know having responsibilities like they are married they have children they might not have as much time as they had then but because they've already laid that foundation they begin to find ways by which they can still spend time with god but imagine starting your build your relationship with god when you're already busy it's going to be more difficult so the bible is encouraging us today that we should remember god in the time of our youth not when we are old not when we are now burdened with more responsibilities not when we have to shoulder more responsibilities and we hardly have any time when i was a student and when i wasn't working i used to have time and something that even i myself personally i'm still struggling with and this is even as a youth as someone that is a young person i'm still trying my best to find a way to you know cultivate or build more time spend more time in the presence of god life gets busy and then you find yourself slowly drifting away and before you know it you have to start from you know square one again you have to start learning how to spend more time in devotional you have to start learning how to spend more time in the presence of god so basically my point or my encouragement to you today is that as a young person please use this time to spend with god now you don't have any distractions now there is no family that you're probably thinking about no husband no children that's if you are single and even if you are married as well so you are youth and you are married you have children use this time when you are still young when you still have that energy to you know spend time with god to praise god to worship god before you grow old and you know your body is not functioning as, as it used to function again back is now you know right now in your youth is the best time 
for you to serve god your youth is the best time for you to give your whole to god for you to build a relationship with god please don't wait till you're older please don't say okay i've got more time you don't know what god can still do through you in your youthful season you don't know where god wants to take you you don't know the lives that god wants to use you to bless even in your youthful season and you don't even know maybe it's in your youthful season that you find that mr right or that mrs right while you are serving god while you are presence of god one thing that most youths will say is that this is my youth to enjoy my youthful age i want to enjoy my life you know i'm not going to be 20 again i'm not going to be 25 again no one is saying that your life becomes boring because you now serve god or because you spend more time with god god also wants you to enjoy your life it's even written in the bible god wants you to enjoy your life to the fullness but whilst you're enjoying your life make sure that as much as possible like the bible says don't let the excitement of your youth make you to then forget your creator your enjoyment can still be with god your enjoyment can be in god like even the bible said i've given you the joy of my presence so even in the presence of god there's fullness of joy there's enjoyment in the presence of god so any enjoyment that is outside of the will of god is not an enjoyment that god desires for you to have i hope that this video has blessed you and if it did please kindly share to someone today stay encouraged and i'll see you in my next video shalom